Welcome back to Main Street Living. Right now, all of us living at home. Some of us fortunate enough to be with family, but can be kind of a make or break it moment for the families right now, for the marriages. So Quincy, how is it going? <laughs> well, uh, I'm making it. As you can see, my hair is still not combed all the way. But I can tell you this for <laughs> for many of us around the globe, uh, relationships. Well, for many of us around the globe in relationships, living with others or coexisting during the COVID-19 uh, pandemic has been quite a challenge. So I'd like to welcome relationship expert Dana McNeil to the show. How are you doing, Dana? I am great. Thanks for having me here. This is fun. Well, uh, you know, just getting right into it, uh, you know, how can people deal during this time in the relationship? You're stuck in the house together because keep in mind, people were just used to, you know, being apart for eight to 10 hours a day. And now they're with each other 24 hours a day. So tell us, how can we deal? Just start off. Well, one thing is I have to have a lot of patience, right? I have to be able to hold my partner in something that I call having a positive perspective. They don't want to be in this situation either. This is just as rough for them. Can I find ways, and this is one of my phrases that I use with my clients, can I find ways to be curious versus furious with my partner right now? Can I find the ability to say, you know what, they're probably frustrated, they're probably frazzled, they don't want to be here either, they're not just doing this to irritate me, there's probably something that they're frustrated about or that they're worried about. Can I come at them from that perspective? Can I say, hey, babe, you don't seem like yourself or you seem like you're really upset about something. Can we talk about it? Can you tell me what's going on with you so that maybe I can help versus us being butting heads with each other? Gotcha. Now, that is extremely nice of you to put it that way. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I could at least take that much time to do that, but I will at least work on it. OK, now, real quick, you are the founder of the Relationship Place. Um, what what type of support do you provide for your clients? So we are a therapy practice and we <laughs> focus on anything involving relationships. So if I'm in a relationship with a partner, if I'm in a relationship with myself, if I'm working on who I am as an individual, uh, we practice something that's called the Gottman Method, G-O-T-T-M-A-N. And it's a kind of evidence-based couples therapy that's based on teaching couples how to have communication skills. Because what we know from our work as couples therapists is we don't just know how to do this. We don't take a couples communication class in high school. There is no manual that I get that comes along with my partner. These are skills that I have to learn. And so going to see a therapist is a place where you can learn how to have couple communication skills. Absolutely. And and with you being a licensed uh, marriage and family therapist, OK, you also yeah. have something called the out of the box approach. I put air quotes so you can explain it to our viewers. Um, how does that help couples? Well, we're trying to break the model of what people think are stereotypical visits to therapists, you know, where I have my glasses and I have my clipboard and I'm like, hmm, talk to me <laughs> about that. If we don't, we're not that way. It's like we want it to feel like you're coming to visit a, a wise friend, right? You're coming in. Our offices are set up kind of like a living room. There's no medical model happening to it. And we don't have any judgment on your relationship. If you're in an open relationship, if you're in a polyamory relationship, Whoever you are, whatever your relationship is, this is your relationship. I don't get to have an opinion about how you live your life. So we really meet you where you're at and give you skills and tips and tricks on how to have the best relationship possible. I like that. I like that a lot. And, you know, and real quick, um, we can all agree that currently we're living uh, well, what we're living is considered the new normal, at least for the next several months. Right. Um, but you've come up with a few guidelines for your clients and, and even for our viewers. Um, you know, like, can you just name off a few of them? Sure. One of the things that's really helpful is to set up your own space within your home. If that means that you set up a little desk that's designated as your work area where you get to put pictures that you love or flowers or something that's inspirational to you. And that becomes like off limits for the rest of to your family. That's your dedicated workspace. Okay. Having a place where you can think and that is like clear for you and that it's set up the way that you exactly like it where other family members know that it's off limits can sometimes be helpful to keep you into that mental space of what work means. It's also really important to have beginning and end times because those of us that are not used to working from home, we'll start working like 24 hours a day. Right. So we have to kind of stay with that same schedule. If I work from eight to five, then I need to work from eight to five. And if I'm used to having a commute to work, maybe I take 
take a walk around the block and start my day. And on my lunch break, I take another walk around the block. And at five o'clock, okay. maybe I put a towel over my laptop and I'm like, okay, the office is closed for the day. I have to have schedules. I have to have rituals. I have to have things that are in place that set healthy boundaries. So my brain says, I'm not working 24 hours a day. Nice, nice. Well, well, you know, Dana, all this information is great, and there's so much more that that you have to offer, and um, and we have the information up so people can reach out to you and so they can find you. Um, you know, I thank you very much for these useful tips. Okay, and uh, and thanks for being with us today. Okay. All right. All right. Now, <laughs> all right. Now, Cheryl, what do you have for us next? Yeah, we've got some great segments coming up here on Main Street Living. A lot of us are using technology lately. We are relying on it, but we're going to tell you about some new tech coming up. Stay with us.